everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps, and I am making a fun soap today. My daughter has really helped me out with this one. I just finished putting in my life solution and my cream. Got all of those blended up. But we are doing root beer float today, and she has designed it. I'm going to separate some white. Well, she really helped design it. We, we threw a lot of ideas around. and This soap, this fragrance is going to discolor. It's going to turn brown. So we're going to do the bottom brown. And I'm going to add some brown mica. This is my favorite brown mica that I have found. Um, it's got a sparkle, a shimmer to it. So we'll see if this comes through in the soap or not. But I'm doing this just in case it doesn't discolor evenly. I don't want any funky specks or anything later. Yeah, she's shaking her head no. Get this blended in, and then I'll add my fragrance. This is supposed to accelerate accelerate trace quite a bit, which is fine. Because I'm going to want this to set up quite, uh, quite a bit. Get that out of the way, and I'm going to do the white before I forget. And I'm not going to fragrance this. And you don't want it too white. So that's actually perfect. And I can blend that up a little thickly. Thickly, yes. Okay. Get that out of the way. Add the fragrance. What do you think? Do you think this fragrance smells good? Yeah. Yeah. I don't normally go for these kinds of scents in my soap, but the girls helped me pick out a whole bunch of fragrances the other day. I ordered a ton. I think I have 30 new bottles sitting behind me. Some racing going on. I don't know if you can see that. Scrape down the sides here. It's kind of turning an ugly color, but that's temporary. down the middle of it. Just a little bit. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, you like that idea? Okay. Yeah. You want to grab my mold for me? Thank you. So I'm just going to pour this in. Not a real pretty color right now, but it will be. Oops. Get 
Oops, all of this scraped out here. Makes cleanup so much easier later if you get all of the soap out. And less waste. So I like to get as much as I possibly can. All right. We're just going to do, well, that didn't really want to go down, so I think my big sticks are all in the other room. So you know what, I'll do this. And then it blended up too much, but if it did, it's not a big deal. Oh, thanks. She just brought me my sticks. Okay. Clean off the edges a little bit here. Okay, so I'm going to pause while we wait for the white to thicken up, and then we'll be back to attempt piping. Okay, I think it's good enough. I'm a little worried I'm not going to have enough. Whoops, let's do a little better than that. them to be so picky. I am not going for perfection here. Because I don't have a lot of white left. And I mean it's a root beer float. Made these some of these a little taller than I probably should have. But when I dripped the white in the center of the soap, I knew it wasn't going to have enough. That's okay. I like it. You like it? Well, that is. Whoops, what I care about is that you like it. And let me tell you, it smells pretty dang awesome, huh? Yeah. I mean, it makes us want to run to the store and get some root beer and vanilla ice cream. Yep. I like to try to squeeze out every last drop. about soap balls too. I could have done soap balls, um, but I have another soap later that is going to look kind of similar. Um, I might kind of squished it out a little bit. Okay, anyway, it's going to look kind of similar, um, so we're going to reserve the soap balls for that, but I'm not going to tell you any more than that right now. A little bit of glitter. So you know when you're smelling this, you can't actually consume it. There you have the root beer float soap. This will be cured around August 30th, 2014. And stay tuned, I will attach the cutting video to the back of this one. Bye. Here is root beer float. I wish you could smell this because it smells amazing. You want to hold that for me? 
I'm cutting in a different part of my room today. I don't have enough room on my soap table right now. I've been master batching oils and canning green beans. But here's the inside so far. Oh, I forgot we did a swirl. You remember that? It doesn't look bad. I like it. Well, I hope it doesn't look bad. It doesn't. That looks pretty cool. Let me focus. Alright. Come on, camera. Alright, I'm going to pause. Okay, let's try that. So you can see on the outside, I've got a darker ring. I hope you can see that. The middle will darken up as well. I actually expect this to go quite a bit darker. That looks really cool. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Can you see it from over there? Smells amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we were talking about root beer floats all night last night. And it's been in the 90s here. High 90s, actually. I think I might have to just go to the store and get some root beer and vanilla ice cream. Once I'm done canning all of my green beans. I have 120 pounds of green beans to can. And it's taking forever. So my husband's buying a second canner for me today. I wasn't sure how this was going to come out since I just took a spatula to it. Just, you know, I'm patient. That's pretty. That is pretty. You like it? All right, so this will be cured uh, August 30th, 2014, and will be available on my website at stargazersoaps.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.